funny guy. Give it up for Jay Bonnie. Come on up here, Jay. What up, what up? Listen, y'all, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be here. I popped a Viagra before I drove down here. Yeah. Made you look. You ain't slick, bro. Come on. Nah, but for real, though, I'm gonna get right into it. I'll never forget the day my dad found out he had high blood pressure. Nigga was salty as fuck. <laughs> Growing up, he always told me, Jay, broke niggas only make jokes. <laughs> Y'all can do the math on that one. <laughs> yeah. Kind of broke right now. I got a job two weeks ago, but prior to that, I was three months jobless, okay? Yeah, and the tragic part about that is, because of my budget, I can only afford to date skinny girls. <laughs> And that's no shade to skinny girls. Like, everybody likes a girl that, you know, takes care of herself and all that. But at the end of the day, thick girls take the cake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, man, I like thick girls. I like when they weigh about as much as I do or a little bit more. But straight up, it's a deal breaker. She's so big, I can ride on her back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. But it would be cool if I could get rides from the kitchen to the couch every once in a while. You know, that would be cool. <laughs> She finally gets some fucking exercise. <laughs> Fat bitch. <laughs> yeah. I like thick girls, but I also like Asian girls, man. The first time I smoked weed with an Asian girl was also the first time I smoked weed with a blind girl. It's because her eyes are small, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Act like you've never seen an Asian person before. Yeah, she was like, my eyes are so low, I can't see. And I was just like, damn. This blowjob is gonna suck. <laughs> All my girls' eyes on the prize, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I have, I'm talking about girls, I haven't even been on a date in a while, man. It's been about two months and it went terribly. All right, she was giving me way too much information. She was trying to tell me about the time that she busted her hymen while riding a horse. Oh. Yeah, that was gross, right? <laughs> that was when I got up and left. I'm, I'm pretty big, but I'm not gonna compete with a horse. <laughs> note, my best friend's a 9-11 truther. Yeah, kind of weird. I wish I could get up every day and believe George Bush's dumbass was smart enough to pull that shit off. <laughs> Bill Clinton couldn't even get slurped up in his own office and get away with that. Like, <laughs> what makes you think Bush could have done better? Like, whatever. <laughs> and look, people keep, people are still obsessing over the election last year, man. Like, some, this girl told me the other day that if Hillary Clinton was a male, she would have won the race. And that's bullshit, because if Hillary Clinton was a male, we wouldn't have even let Bill's gay ass in the office in the first place. <laughs> Politicians didn't like gays back then. Right. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I'd like to dedicate this set to one of my friends that passed away recently. Yeah, we were listening to death metal and I got carried away and sacrificed him. <laughs> I scraped some of his ashes in my grinder so we could get high together one last time. <laughs> Little known fact, smoking a stoner's ashes actually gets you a mild body high. So if anybody's interested, I'll be selling $20 Ace after the show. <laughs> My name is Jay Bonnie, everybody. Thank you.